So welcome back, and this is part four now of the uh, repair ship build. Um, I've just started sort of putting on a bunch of hull in this episode. I decided to try and finish off the exterior, or at least seal it so it was airtight to some degree. So uh, in that, what I've done is I've started putting on yellow hull, which I'm going to put a different colour over the top of, just to give it a little bit of interest when you're looking at it. The idea is to just cover up all the remaining systems that are visible from the outside and um, do a bit of detail on the inside. Um, I did a lot of work in this one. It was about two and a half hours, this video, um, and I did it after the lineup review on Wednesday. Interestingly, I actually, to take, you know, I just don't like going a bit stale. I get a bit stale if I stick on one project for too long. So um, as I'd pretty much put about, I don't know, it must have been at least eight hours into this by now, um, I decided to build a new ship instead last night. Um, I had an idea for the con concept of the Swiss Army knife, which is basically a testing ship which I can load in to check everything still works. Um, and in that, I'll be trying to dock or use as many different things as I can. So, um, yeah, that's the idea behind it. And uh, as you can see now, I'm just sort of entering, uh, filling in all of the spots that have no hull. I'm going to finish off the engineering section um in this video um i'm also gonna finish off the top of the engines i'm gonna finish off the uh the walkway down to the duck foot oh yeah people wanted me to check out this if we go right right you'll see something interesting it took me a while to figure it out they were like hey have you seen this look at that look at all those shops isn't that crazy anyway just a small thing so I decided to have a kind of hangar area at the back. I'll probably dock a mech in there. Because then I can have a mech, a big fighter, a little shuttle, which can also be used for guests, separate bay. Um, I'm going to use a little docking trick on the uh, on the hangar so that so you don't need to open the door. You can just teleport in and out with your ships, which, is, which should be quite cool. But that's on the side hangar. The side loading bay works just fine. Um, biggest problem I had actually was lighting. None of the lighting seems to do much. I've, I've sort of started using white hull and yellow hull in combination with lights. But I've just been experimenting because the thing is I always used to use glass and ice crystal or lava or obviously lights. And um, I just started using the uh, power tanks for lighting in this engineering section. I still have to put on another I think there might be another another wall. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do it open plan or not. But um, certainly I need to do a corridor on this section just here. I'm just walling it off now so it sort of looks finished from the outside. And obviously I went through and I've uh, tried to put as many different levels in as well. I didn't want it to look featureless and flat. So I've tried my best with a bunch of these new sort of techniques that I've been because obviously I look at a lot of ships and there's a lot of things I see that I like and I'd like to imitate or ha do you know do my take on and uh, <coughs> I think it got to a point really where I just I, I'd done so many reviews that um, I just really needed to build something myself because <laughs> it was getting ridiculous but yeah as you can see now just putting in a little bit more lighting I wanted to have that sort of engineering or workshop hanger sort of feel to it I think in future I'm going to be making things a lot simpler. Um, I wanted to expose all of the mechanics, you see, like all the internals, like the docking enhancers I wanted to have on show in the middle of the room. I wanted to have the shields out on display. I uh, wanted to have the thrusters on display, the power tanks on display. I wanted to have the power reactors on display, but I ended up making box reactors, so you can't really show them. You've got to hide them away. So I'll put in some 9927 5x5s just for show. They won't really do much to the power at this point, but um, they'll look cool when you're walking around engineering. Oh yeah, that's right, I also finished off the feet. So the idea is it lands at the front on these sort of wing feet things, and then at the back it's got a little duck foot, which the idea is it folds out of the floor of engineering, but we don't have that kind of movement in the game, so you just got to imagine, guys. <laughs> it's always extended. Uh, I think I got the idea for that landing pad from one of the Alien movies. I think they drop down the tank, they lower the tank jeep thing, the APC, they lower it down from the dropship and then it dr just drives away. 
So uh, that was that was my idea behind that one. And um, and yeah, so basically I'm just moving on to the door. Um, and if I look at the power reactors just here, you can see I'm just putting the yellow hull around there. And then we've got some plex glass on. The plex glass is here to sort of give it a bit more detail as you're dropping down. Um, and I put red light in to sort of accentuate that. Gives a nice glow to the, to the sort of to this part of the uh, this part of the ship. So just uh, patching up a few holes, putting a bit more hull underneath because obviously you don't want to get blown through the bottom of engineering. Uh, none of the wedges wedge work has really been done yet. There's probably a few wedges. Oh, and by the way, when you see me running about like that, it's because I'm I'm looking at stuff. I'm running around and looking at stuff, and then going, ah, yeah, this needs doing. This needs doing. You know. Decided to do another little vault door. Didn't quite come out as well because it wasn't even in the middle. Kind of looked a bit weird and I just couldn't be happy with that, but uh, it, it finished it in the end, so. It still looks like a truck. I changed this to glass and it still looks like a truck. Oh, look what I did. Whoops. I just accidentally erased a bunch of stuff because I couldn't see the red outline when I tried to, when I went to erase it. Right, there we go, that's what I wanted. And then I found out that these reactors that I just removed there don't do anything to the recharge. <laughs> Literally, they're useless. I may as well have not had them, um, which is interesting. Okay, so I'm going to put a window in here now, and we're going to have these as... Oh, oh yeah, and of course the symmetry was out, so I've got to take the symmetry off. Because when I made it, I didn't have symmetry in the same place. I wanted it to be a little uneven. Um, so yeah, again, those reactors were totally, um, didn't, didn't, they were doing like 10 each or something. <laughs> so they weren't even worth having. <coughs> so, let's see, I'm obviously reviewing, oh, I'm going from, yeah, forward back, forward back, forward back. And then we can just put in those little ones, and yes, I know I could do them as a group, but to be honest, I miss building, and sometimes it's therapeutic to do it all manually. Um, Good tip though, you know, I do recommend people using that, you know, fill as a chunk because it doesn't replace the blocks you've already put down. Yeah, it's a good technique. I saw people commenting, hey man, you should you should do this. And uh, someone else commented, hey man, you should change the buttons. You can do that. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. It's all good. Um, if I ever complain about anything, it's um, usually either irony, a joke, or just pure frustration <laughs> from where I've just been doing something and I'm like ah but uh, it's very rare actually for me to complain because I love the game um, and uh, anyway this will be the last section of this speed build found my stairs were too far apart so I had to destroy every single layer and then rebuild them one block lower so you know going up the stack um, the idea is so you could jump from like mushroom to mushroom <laughs> oh I'm gonna keep the mushroom theme going see um, and I found that the max you can jump is five blocks, so I put four lights in and then put the level on the fifth. And then that's the best, you know, the optimum jumping uh, distance for gravity at the moment. You know, until we get some, like, super jump or... I don't know. Maybe if you eat the mushrooms. <laughs> uh, so anyway, just finishing off this and uh, the next video will continue this on. I'm probably going to showcase the Swiss Army Knife pretty soon it's nearly finished Dalmont so much so so many thanks for helping me out with the detail and uh, I can't wait to show it to you guys because I'm going to be using it in pre-builds to test things and it's going to make my life a whole lot easier thanks for watching and I'll see you in part five where hopefully I finish this ship <laughs> thanks again see you soon